Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to solve simultaneous equations involving three variables. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one, to solve this kind of simultaneous equations, so step number one, we need to eliminate one of the variable L first. So we can either eliminate variable A or B or C. But in this case, eliminate variable C is easier because the coefficients of the C are the same. So we can just simply add or subtract. So we can just get rid of the variable C. So let me just name the equation first. So let's name these equations number one, and this is equation number two, and this is equations number three. So you can see if I add equation number one with equation number two, the C will cancel out because one plus and one minus. So we add them up, they will cancel each other out. So let me just write this down. So A plus B plus C is equal to five. This is equation number one. And then 2a plus b minus c is equal to 4. Equation number 2. So now if we add them up, so this will give me, now a plus 2a is 3a. And then we have b plus b, so will give me 2b. So add 2b. And a positive c, and we minus a c, so C minus C is zero, so it cancel out. So that will give me five plus four. So that is nine. So that will give me nine. So I just write this down, equation number one, we add equation number two. So now the C is gone. So now we just focus on equation number two and equation number three. So you can see equation number two, if we add equation number three, so the C will cancel out because one positive C and the other one is negative C. So we add them together. So C will cancel out. So let me just write this down. So we have 2A plus B minus C is equal to 4. And this is equations number 2. And then we have A plus 2B plus C is equal to 2. That is equation number 3. So now if we add them together, so this will give me, so 2a plus a is 3a. So this is 3a. And then 2b plus b will give me 3b. So we add 3b. And then negative c plus c, so it cancel out, becomes zero. So four plus two is six. So let me just write this down. So equal to six. So this is equation number two, we add equation number three. So let me just name these equations, number four, and this is equation number five. So now you can see with the equation number four and number five, we can have A are the same. So they have same coefficients. So we just minus it and A will be eliminate. So let me just write the equation down first. So let me just write it on here. So 3a plus 2b is equal to 9. So that is equation number 4. And then we have 3a plus 3b is equal to 6. And this is equation number 5. So now we just use equation number 4 minus equation number 5. So let me just minus it. So 3a minus 3a, so this is gone. And then we have 2b minus 3b, so that is negative b. And then we have 9 minus 6, so 9 minus 6 is 3. So therefore, b is equal to negative 3. Now I can substitute b into equation number 4 or number 5, okay, to solve for a. So let's substitute into equation number four. Doesn't matter which one you put in, okay? So let's substitute. Substitute B equal negative three 
into equation number four. So that will give me 3a plus 2 lots of b, which is negative 3, is equal to 9. So 3a minus 6, because 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, is equal to 9. I move the negative 6 on this side, become positive. So 9 plus 6 is 15. So in another word, 3a is equal to 15. So I would divide by 3 on both sides, so which means that a, so 15 divided by 3 is 5. So a is equal to 5. So now we have b is negative 3, a is 5. So now we can either substitute b equal negative 3, a equal 5, either into equation number 1 or number 2 or number 3, okay, to solve for c. But it doesn't matter which one you want to substitute in, okay? So let's substitute the value a and b into equations number one, okay? So let me just write this down. So I just say sub, substitute a is equal 5 and b is equal to negative 3 into equations number one, okay? So equation number one is a plus b plus c is equal to 5. So a is 5 plus b, so b is negative 3. I just write minus 3. And then we add c, will give me 5. So now we just need to solve it. So to do this, so this is exactly the same as 5 minus 3 plus c is equal to 5. And we can see this 5 cancel each other out. Otherwise, you can just go 5 minus 3 is 2, and you move on the other side, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So the answer should be 3. But in this case, I just do it this way. Then what I do, I move this on the side. So that will give me C is equal to 3. So therefore, C is equal to 3. So now we already have value of A, B, and C. So three variables. So let me just write this down. So therefore, A is equal to 5, B is equal to negative 3, and C is equal to three. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How did you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So first step is you either get rid of variable A, B, or C. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you get rid of. Okay, so let me just get rid of variable A first. Okay, so let me name this equation number one. And this is equation number two. And this is equation number three. So if I times equation number two with two, I will get 2A. Then if I use equation number one minus my new equations, the A will be eliminated. So let me just write this down. So equation number 2 with times 2. So that will give me 2a plus 2 times 2b is 4b. And plus c times 2 is 2c. That will give me negative 4 because it times everything by 2. So that is equation number 2 with times 2. And then we have equation number 1. Let me just write this down. So that will give me... 2a plus b plus 3c is equal to 1. So that is equation number 1. So now I just minus them, okay? So I minus it. So 2a minus 2a, so it cancel out. And then 4b minus b will give me 3b. So that is 3b. And then 2c minus 3c will give me negative c or minus c. And then now I have negative 4 minus 1. So that give me negative 5. So let's name these equations 4. These are new equations. So now I just focus on equation number 3 with equations number 2. Because I can just simply time equation 2 with 3, I will have 3a. And then we have 3a here, so I can just simply simplify by minus each other out. 
So let's write this down. So i times 3 is 3a. And then we have 2b times 3, give me 6b. So 6b. And c times 3 is 3c. So that give me negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So that is equation number 2 with times 3. So now let me just write down equation number 3 first. So that give me 3a plus b plus 2c is equal to 5. And this is equation number 3. So now we just minus each other out, okay? So minus it. And 3a minus 3a, so it cancel out. And 6b minus b will give me 5b. So 5b. And 3c minus 2c, so we have c, so plus c. Now negative 6 minus 5 will give me negative 11. So that is minus 11. Let's name these equations number 5. So now we have two new equations. That is equation number 4. And we have equation number 5. So now we can use these two equations and then eliminate another variable out. So in this case, I can simply eliminate the variable c because we have minus c and positive c. So we just add the two together. The c will be cancelled out. So let me just write this down. So we have 3b minus c is equal to negative 5. So this is equation number 4. And then we have equation number 5. That is 5b plus c is equal to negative 11. So this is equation number 5. So what I do now is I just add them up. So therefore, the c will cancel out. So negative c plus c will disappear. So 3b plus 5b will give me 8b. So I just write this down, 8b. And we add these two together, give me negative 16. Because negative 5 plus negative 11 will give me negative 16. Now I just get rid of this 8 by divide both sides. Okay, so divide by 8. So this means that b is equal to negative 2. So now we can either substitute the value b either into equation number 4 or equation number 5. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So let me just substitute the value b into equation number 5. Okay, you can substitute into number 4, of course, nothing wrong with that. Okay, so let me just write this down. I'm going to substitute the value b equal negative 2 into equation number 5. This the equation I substitute in. So this means that b is negative 2. So 5b means 5 lots of negative 2. And then we add c. Will give me negative 11. So negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. So the minus 10 plus c will give me negative 11. And the negative 10, I move on the other side. So I move on this side becomes positive 10. So negative 11 plus 10 is minus 1. So c is equal to negative 1. So now we have b is negative 2, c is negative 1. Now to find the value of a, we can either substitute the value b and c into equation number 1 or number 2 or number 3, doesn't really matter, okay? So let me just substitute value b and c into equation number 1. So let me write this down. So we substitute b is equal to negative 2, c equal to negative 1 into equation number 1. So equation number 1 is 2a plus b plus 3c is equal to 1. So 2a plus b, so b is negative 2, so just write minus 2 if you like. And then we plus 3c, so we'll plus 3 lots of negative 1. That will give me 1. So this will give me 2a minus 2 minus 3 is equal to 1. And I can just simplify this. So 2a, so minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So minus 5 will give me 1. So I move the negative 5 on the other side. So on this side here, so that means 1 plus 5 is 6. 
So this means 2a is equal to 6. And what I do, I divide by 2 on both sides because I want to find a only. So that's divide by 2. So that will give me a is equal to 3. So now we have a, we have b, and we have c. Okay, three variables. So let me just write this down. So therefore, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 2, and c is equal to negative 1. So there you go. I hope you got all of them correct. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.